Hello, 7th graders. It's Mr. Dayton. I'm going to be reading from our science textbook, pages 44 and 45, and then going through questions on page 45, checking concepts and thinking critically, numbers 1 through 8. So, let's get started. The title of the lesson or the question we are attempting to answer today is, What are other cell parts? Okay, I will not go through the key terms. You'll have a picture of this page so that you are able to look at the key terms yourself and you will need to do that. Okay, we'll go down to the first paragraph. The first paragraph is organelles. A cell is like a factory. Each machine in a factory has a special job. The machines work together to keep the factory working. The machines of a cell are its organelles. Organelles are small structures that are suspended in the cytoplasm. Most organelles are so small that they can only be seen with an electron microscope, unlike the microscopes that we have. Each organelle has a special job to do. They work to produce energy, transport materials, and get rid of waste. Organelles keep the cell working properly. As you read about each organelle, look at figure 2-13. Figure 2-13 is a figure of a model of a cell, a 3D model. 3D drawn model, I shouldn't say that it's a 3D model, but you get what I'm saying. All right, the next um, section is titled mitochondria. One kind of organelle is the mitochondrion. Mitochondria are known as the powerhouses of the cell. They release energy that the cell can use. The energy is used by the cell to carry out its life processes. So the organelle is um, one of them is mitochondrion, mitochondrion, and many of them or more than one, the plural is mitochondria. Okay, next we have endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum is a very small network of tubes inside the cell. The tubes are like tiny, uh, a tiny highway system for the cell. Substances move along these tubes from one organelle to another. The endoplasmic reticulum is also known as the ER, so that's the shortened version of it. ER is the endoplasmic reticulum. Next we have ribosomes. Ribosomes are small, rounded structures located within the cell. Ribosomes make proteins. Oh, that's Mr. Mal calling me right now. Hello. Yeah, I'm doing it right now, actually. Yep, yep. Bye. I'll, I'll, I'll get her done in a little bit. Yep, bye-bye. That was Mr. Mal. I'm getting this. I'm reading this for us right now. So he was wondering. I'm going to start over with ribosomes, okay? Ribosomes are small, rounded structures located within the cell. Ribosomes make proteins. The proteins are needed for growth and are involved in all cell processes. Some ribosomes appear as small bumps attached to the ER. Not all ribosomes are attached to the ER. Some are scattered throughout the cytoplasm, as you may see in the cell model on figure 2-13. Uh, figure Next one we have is Golgi bodies. Cells contain many flattened and folded sacs called Golgi bodies. The Golgi bodies are like a post office for the cell. Proteins and other materials are sent to the Golgi bodies through the endoplasmic reticulum. Then the Golgi bodies package and distribute the materials to other parts of the cell. They also send materials to the outside of the cell. So the Golgi bodies, think of post office, okay? Um, and up above that ribosomes, they're considered a protein factory, okay? So there's a figure below 2-12 of a Golgi, Golgi body, okay? Moving on to vacuoles on page 45. The vacuoles of a cell are small storage spaces in the cytoplasm. The spaces are surrounded by a membrane. Vacuoles are like storage bins. They store food and waste. Some vacuoles store extra water. They pump extra water out of a cell. Plant cells usually have one large vacuole. Animal cells may have many small vacuoles. Okay, so vacuoles think of like a storage bin or a storage area. All right, then we have lysosomes. Lysosomes. 
Cells also contain small, round organelles called lysosomes. Lysosomes are the cleanup crew of the cell. Lysosomes contain powerful chemicals that digest nutrient molecules in the cell. When other organelles in the cell stop working properly, the lysosomes break down and recycle the old cell parts so they can be used again. The chemicals in the lysosomes only break down unhealthy cell parts. In a healthy cell, a membrane surrounds the lysosomes. The membrane prevents the lysosomes from destroying the entire healthy cell. So lysosomes are kind of like the cleanup crew or the recycling center. They take care of the old worn out organelles and they uh, break them down and they can be reused again. Uh, so that's why they're known as the recycling center. Okay, moving on to the questions that you will also be able to see. Checking concepts. Remember that we are an answering these in complete sentences so that when the quiz comes, you'll be able to just ro rock it and write down the uh, complete sentences that you have. So number one is what, or, what are organelles? You could answer that by saying organelles are and include your answer. Okay, number two. Why are the mitochondria called the powerhouses of the cell? so that you would start your answer. Mitochondria are called the powerhouses of the cell because, go back to where it, say, it says, that, says that and write your answer. Okay, number three, what are the small storage spaces in a cell called? Again, you could start your complete sentence by saying, the small storage spaces in a cell are called blank. Insert your answer there, all right. Number four, what is the job of the Golgi bodies? You could start your complete sentence by saying, the job of the Golgi bodies is blank. Number five, how are the lysosomes like a cleanup crew? You could start your answer like this, the lysosomes are like a cleanup crew because, okay. Moving on to thinking critically, number six is compare. Name the organelle that has a job similar to each of the, these objects. Railroad, cabinets, post office, and electric company. Okay, so there you could say the blank is similar to a railroad. The blank is similar to cabinets. The blank is similar to post office, and the blank is similar to the electric company. So you could answer that in complete sentences that way. All right, number seven is infer. Think about the jobs performed, perf think about the jobs performed by your muscles and your skin. Do you think there are more mitochondria in muscle cells or in skin cells? Explain. So I would start by my answer by with a complete sentence by saying, I think there are more mitochondria in, insert your answer, because, insert your answer, okay? Which has more, your muscle cells or your skin cells? Which has more mitochondria? All right, and then finally number eight is model. Draw a diagram of a cell that includes all the organelles you have learned about. Label the parts of your diagram. So. A really good way to get this started would be to look at the picture of the cell that was provided for you and you could probably draw a pretty good diagram of a cell and label all of those organisms, not organisms, organelles. Okay, that is 44 and 45 with questions 1 through 8 on page 45. So get after it. Thanks you guys.